Hi there and welcome back to Ultima Underworld 2. No, Ultima Underworld. Not Ultima Underworld 2. Why do I keep mixing that up? Because I've been playing Fallout 2. And um, I have still <laughs> used to saying the number 2. So no, this is Fallout. No, this is Ultima Underworld. <laughs> and this is the first game. So yes, let's take a look at that. It's fucking magical. What does it do? Um, I don't know. Really? Toughness. I mean, okay. It's better than the one that we have. I mean, it's not in a better condition, but you know, it's magical and stuff, so we keep it. Oh, hi, let's talk to you. Judy. As you approach, the old woman looks up and squints. She's obviously nearsighted. Tom, she says, is it thee? The hope in her eyes dies as she sees your face. Uh, over the distance, though. Good day to the old mother. Mother, no. I say I'm sorry, I'm Winter. Who is Tom? Ah, Tom, he was me Tommy boy. Gone he is, and now only I am left. Never more shall I see his face this side of paradise. Nor am I even able to remember it, not at all. <laughs> I'm sorry it's late. What happened to Tom? That thou dost wait here? He and I were walking here down by the lava. Tom was to ask his master Lord Kabiris to bless our marriage. He just gave me this ring, a hole of gold, he says to me, with a pluck of fair flesh. That is not very romantic, truth be told. It's a little unsettling. And then one of them headless creatures come run in and brave Tom would fight with it. The both of them went into the lava. Ah, me Tom, and I have sat here these long years. Some of the folk nearby take pity on me and bring me things to eat. But now everyone will stay and watch with me for meat for my Tom. Isn't it unlikely that he will return from the lava? Ah, that's me Tom, always worrying me. Ah, Tom, come up. So are worrying thy Judy. Ah, me, I cannot even recall his face. He's so long lost to me. Has there not else to remember him by? I had a picture once, but it's lost now. Ah, me, Tom, such a bonny lad I never knew. You know, when she's talking about a bonny lad, it's just, sometimes it sounds like she's talking about her son and not about her lover. Oh. Well, if I should find it, I shall return it to thee. Would thee, oh, thou are very kind, bless thee. Blessings upon thee also, mother. Old mother. Yeah, of course, Winter is kind. Um, actually, let's use. Uh, don't we have like a. Um, name enchantment thing? So. So we don't remember what it does and what it is and all of those nice things. Should I go up and repair it? Nah, I mean it's worn. If it gets damaged it will be badly worn and then Shark can't do anything with it. That would be a pain. But then again I don't think there's anything that can do much damage to it here. Yep. Ouch, that could have damaged it. Uncorp money deals get great blows to undead. Yes, but my sword also deals great blows to undead, so I don't need that spell. This leads to the mine, I think. Yes! Mine dispatch chamber. Enter only in presence of dispatch operator. We don't have that. But we know what we need to do, right? Mm hmm. So, this is closed. Teleporter, teleporter door control. 
teleport door lock, mighty switch operators only. So what did the guy say? Three dials. Seven two six from left to right, then pull the lever. Seven two six. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. And pull the lever. Alrighty, that's it. In right, chill. What, 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 what is that? Okay, travel. Yeah, we shall take that. Very useful. Boom, baby. And this basically is. Um, yeah, it works. This is um, Pac Man. Winter is Pac Man. She's running through a labyrinth eating pills, if you want, and battling ghosts. And the ghosts have different colors, so yeah, this is Pac Man. And even the, the labyrinth is like in the same shape as it was in the Pac-Man game. It's just a little thing. It will be apparent. See, you can almost see it now. And once everything has been explored, you will see it very clearly. That this is the Pac-Man labyrinth. It's just that... Um, Winter doesn't have to eat any fruit. She can kill those ghosts like always without having to be in some kind of special game mode. I mean, Ultimate World 2 has Q-Bird as like the funny little game and Underworld 1 has Pac-Man. Although I must say I was not aware of Qbert until I have posted the, <laughs> the let's play and uh, then someone in the comments told me that this was Qbert and I looked it up and of course they were right. Um, but I had never heard of Qbert uh, before. Qbert is not that... I mean it's a good and famous uh, arcade game but it's not nearly as famous as Pac-Man. You are not getting a fucker. Okay. Mm hmm. Nice. Did we kill three ghosts? There should be four. If I'm angry. Um, I don't really know their names. It's, it's, I think if you get, ah, yeah, of course. And you to leave the labyrinth on the left hand side, you enter on the right hand side again. So, see, there's the last ghost. Hey. That was kind of easy. So I never had much history with arcade games because where I lived, uh, basically all that stuff is, for, or at least it was when I was a kid, it was forbidden uh, for kids. You had to be an adult to use it. So basically, none of my generation grew up with arcade games. We had uh, C64 and um, Amiga and Atari and PCs and consoles, of course. So there, there was a time when you had access to um, arcade games, but all gaming has ever been uh, eyed very suspiciously by the adults. Like, 
Is this going to do bad things to our children? Better restrict access. Better not give them any access at all. Just, you know, for the kids. Nobody thinks ever of the kids, of the children. So. I think by now it's better. But then again, arcades are barely a thing anymore. And you don't really need them anymore. Home computers are so powerful these days. Consoles are so powerful. The technological advantage that arcades had like in the 80s and 90s is long gone. Now you can play Pac-Man on any smartphone. Not that, not that you would want to. Without some decent input um, like the controller or something you don't want to use that with the touchpad okay looks like we pretty much got everything this is the exit bridge here exit corridor yeah how many Tanium pieces did we accumulate 83. We needed 80. We have 83. We Gucci. Let's leave. No, don't teleport again. Nice. So, um... I mean, I for one, I started gaming with a 386 in the early 90s. 93, 92, somewhere around that area. So, um, where do we need to go? We need to return to that guy and give him his samples. So, like, Ultima Underworld was one of the earliest games that I played. Still love it to this day. Guess what I have? Has I found 80 samples of Zanium, I actually found 83. Here I have them all. Yes, I have. May I have them, please? Here they are. I thank thee kindly. Return in an hour and I shall give thee a gold nugget the size of which thou canst but imagine. Yeah. Okay, about that though. How about we use gate travel? And travel to the second level. Yeah, yeah. You spit at me, I slash at you. And this is another magical scroll of I don't know what it does. Although I could try and find out. It's probably another gate travel. Correct. And the good thing about gate travel is it brings you to the moonstone. And there's the exit. Actually, we'd, let's check the shrine for a moment. She's winter's very tired by now. 1920, 
Yeah, okay. I was th I was thinking how to do it efficient. This is not the way efficiently, and I think this is a good good way to do it. What time is it? Oh, we have plenty of time. First of all, we need to spend one hour of in-game time. For the gold nugget to be produced, this is... Oh, wait. Yeah, prepare this. Sure thing. 19 minutes. That's fine. Do I have three gold pieces? Yeah, but how about I pick up like five more? <laughs> also turn that off and start hammering. Thank you. Give me my stuff. Here I have three. And that's it, thank you. Yeah, but you have nothing. Let's hammer two more times because we need an, an hour to pass. That is enough, thank you. Drop it and go. Excuse me? So we go downstairs again. But we dropped a moonstone here. Left, right, center. Hello, trolls. Bye, trolls. That was quite a jump, wasn't it? Which way? Of course, the other one. Where did he go? Oh, here. Yeah. Okay, that is quite the gold nugget. So we gate travel back up. No, put it away. And uh, pick up the moonstone. Ah, Winter, it's a pleasure to see thee again. Thy name shall go down in the history of our clan. I thank thee. Here's a gift for you. Sounds! A larger lump of gold I have never seen. Surely thou art deserving of this axe, an honored weapon that has been passed down from the time of my ancestors. Use it well, for there are few weapons better. 
So yes, this is a nice weapon. If you happen to, you know, be an X kind of girl. Winter isn't. A nice serviceable shield axe of additional damage. Very nice, but not fast. Awesome. And we go down again. I did pick up the moonstone, didn't I? Yes. Very nice. <laughs> the trolls must be thinking, wait, didn't she came come round didn't she come running through here like Three minutes ago? Is she exercising? Quite a jump, wasn't it? Okay. I think we explore this area now. Ah, well. This doesn't look too nice. We should quickly hug this wall so that it's mapped out nicely. Yeah, better. Okay, so we can go down here, but you know, here's a cave in, and this leads to the next level. Let's explore that area here. South. Let's save, save just in case there's a fire elemental here somewhere that wants to ruin our day. Wait. Ah, yeah, this is the area where the ghouls lived or still live. What is that? Worn Buckler. Great protection. Hmm. But it's still a buckler though. This is Judy, we talked to her. That's why it's good to have those boots that are made of dragon skin. I have played this game without those boots too. I mean, you get uh, a sunk flam spell later, and that makes you imp like impervious to fire. It doesn't hurt you anymore, and then you can explore all of that as well. Okay, that's pretty much all.
So, 92 hit points, 52 mana points. And we got Shin. Oh yeah, let's get um, the rune first. One emerald. Second. Third. And the fourth. Okay. Um, so we have to throw them up Damn. That kind of worked. That did not work. Number three. And number four. Okay, let's map out that area quickly. No, 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 don't fall down. And then you press the gray button, I think. And this is a vase rune. Very nice. Now only three runes are lacking. They are not magical. And if you press that button, you get teleported out again. Boom. Nice. This is where we came from. Also, let's quickly... <laughs> I mean, really? You have lava here? Uh, this doesn't seem to be safe to live. Dangerous area. Yeah. So if I... Okay, that works. To the shrine. Let's go to the shrine quickly.
this leads to the shrine. But uh, I don't think we can do anything right now. We just, you know, upgraded our skills, so I highly doubt we have enough experience to do anything. Still nice, it leads to the shrine. Wait. How do I get up there? Ah, I didn't go in here. Could have though. I guess I overlooked that passage. Also, talking about things that we overlook. Um, hurry up. Let's do that. Hold, puny mortal, I am thy doom. So sayest thou. I am what I was made to be, the greatest warrior in Britannia. If thou be not of mighty valor, turn back now and no shame will come of thee. Else prepare to meet thy doom. What would be my reward if I succeed? To wager thy life against the mighty talisman, the shield of valor. Defeat me and it shall be thine. Fail and thou shalt surely die. Have it thee then, for I fear nothing. Okay, also I have a bunch of healing potions, so we should be good. So yeah, this is a hostile golem. Um, looks like a stone golem to me. Can't seem to hit it though. Oh, it's almost done. Hold, mortal, thou hast bested me. Never have any shown such valor. Surely thou shouldst master, shouldst be the master of the shield. Um, thou art a noble opponent. I give thee thy life. Farewell. Okay, he's mellow again, or it, whatever. And this is the Shield of Vela. We also come across another shield here. Is this magical, I wonder? Fuck you two. I said, fuck you. Is it this... is it this... Is it the place? It's just jeweled. Strange, I can't cast at this spot. Why? Okay, but we will be taking a break here. Just wanted to defeat this golem quickly. To get another talisman. So, thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Good, bye.